name is Peston. I live in Cape Town. And also, I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. Well, let's uh, get on to our suggested bet for the show on Gallup TV and uh, for uh, an analysis of a race by race. Well, all you need to do is go on to the race by race preview for uh, this show, Monday, the 14th of November, where we race on the poly track. Let's go to my suggested bet uh, for the day, and it does come up in race number six. Well, it's just one bet, and it's a suggested bet, and it's a banker. Now, uh, I mentioned it could have been a rush selection uh, because, um, yep, uh, I was asked for uh, a horse for the day, had a quick look at it and thought that she's an improving filly, this four-year-old daughter of Futura, the way she won last time out, and she could follow up. But now on closer inspection, uh, I say rushed, but on closer inspection, uh, I have a slight concern. I have a slight, co it's a slight concern, guys. I've nailed my colors to the mask, but... I have a slight concern. And the concern is the rating hike from an 82 to a 90, which is eight pound points or four kgs. And that is uh, a penalty. And it tells you what the handicapper thought of that performance, which I'm hoping is right. I'm hoping the handicapper's got it right or close to right with regards to this rating. Because she looks like a filly that's improving, getting stronger, now, as a four-year-old, seems to be in the form of a career, and uh, she may be just uh, ready to step up to the next division. I say the next division because the last win was in a C-division company, an average rating of 82. This is a B-division company with an average rating of 89. So it's stronger company. Yes, it is. It'll be a true test for her as well. Now, her last start when she beat Let's Not Linger, she made it look very easy. I think she actually won with a bit in hand that day. Whilst that form line hasn't produced any winners, Crazy Blues has come out to place, Let's Not Linger has come out to place, and Paul Lafferty's runner, Sudden Cape, has come out to place. So uh, it's not the worst form line, but she made it look easy. Now, for the Gallup TV suggested win bet and banker bet, let's side with the handicapper and say that he's right, or close to being correct. Uh, because dawn of a new day, she is uh, starting to just catch the eye the way she's going about her business, this uh, filly, this daughter of Futura. And I'm hoping that she can step up to the next level. That's the way I see it. I'm just hoping she can step up to the next level. Uh, we've uh, discussed the points, we've touched on the positives, and we've touched on the negatives. Now it's all up to dawn of a new day, Demello and Kanamea to deliver. Okay, that is it for the suggested bet. All the best. Uh, uh, if you want to go through, you know, place a kit numerator and pick six numbers and that sort of thing, just go through the race by race preview for this race meeting on the Monday and you'll get my suggested numbers in the respective races. On behalf of the entire team at Gallup TV and myself, Dees Dan, and have a blast. Find all the winners and until we meet again, you take care. Salani Kaashle. It's good fun. Days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together. Um, and to have, you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into, into making a day like this possible, is, uh, it's, it's fantastic for everyone.